Hi, in this video I'll be covering sorting by column in Google Sheets. There's some quirks with Google Sheets. Usually sorting from A to Z or Z to A is a simple process. And when you have a data range to analyze in Sheets, there's various additional options that you have. But watch out for sorting by sheet or sorting by range in Google Sheets. In addition, one other sort capability you have is you can also sort by color. But it's not intuitive since it doesn't readily show up in the sort menu. But I'll cover how to enable it. Let's check it out. So here I am in Google Sheets and I've got this range of data for our sort. Let's uh, make this auto fit first. Clicking in the corner here, we'll select everything, double click one of the column headers here, double click it and it'll auto fit everything. When it comes to sorting and maybe something in um, example here, I would like to properly put an index column here, one, two. In case something gets messed up, I wanna go back to the original sort order. I can just click this index column. So it might happen for this particular video. So in sorting, you can select any of the cell for that column we wanna sort. So here I'm in column B, go to data, sort sheet, and sort column B. You can see that it sorted it and it sorted everything in kind of a funky order. It didn't keep my headers. Let's control Z to undo that. So how do we sort the whole sheet? And also that comes to mind, what is sorting a sheet versus sorting a range? I'm gonna put some random stuff out here. You can see what happens when we sort a sheet versus a range. So in order to sort and have our headers there, what we need to do is kind of freeze that row. And what we can do is bring down the indicator here that indicates that that is our header row. So it kind of freezes that first row. You can see if I scroll down, that first row is frozen. And now I can go to data, sort sheet, and then let's do A to Z again. And you can see that it's sorted the sheet. And you notice that that cell that I put some garbage data in, it disappeared because it sorted the whole sheet. And that's what it's doing when you go data sort sheet. Let's control Z to undo that. So how do we get it to sort just from column A to column E? Well, what you need to do is select the range. I'm gonna press control A. It selects this range from A to E, and that's the range of columns I want to sort. And once that's selected, go to data, and then sort range becomes available. You notice before it was not available. Let me select the cell out here, go to data. That's grayed out now. Let me go back in here, select that range of data. And now go back to data. And then now this is available. Let's say I want to sort from uh, column B, A to Z. And now you notice that even though I had this down here, frozen there, it still did not keep my headers, control Z to undo. And that's the funky thing about Google Sheets. And I think that's probably something they need to improve. So the way to do this sort when we have uh, our range is go to data, sort range, and then go to advanced range sorting options. And you get this window that says, oh, we're gonna sort it by range. So it'll indicate that data has a header row. And in this instance, you don't need to have that there anymore. So if I pull this back up, and now I go, I have my range selected, go to data, sort range, go to advanced range sorting options. That's still there. Let's say for example, I wanna sort by department again, click on that, click sort, and it sorts it and it keeps that header there. So that's something to keep note of when you're sorting in Google Sheets. Now, another thing that you can think about sorting is if I wanna sort by multiple columns, let's say for example, control Z to undo that. I wanna to go to data. I selected my range here, go to data, sort range, go to advanced range sort options again. Let's say that for example, I wanna sort by department, A to Z, I can add another sort column. So after it sorts by department, let's say what we wanna have it sort by country. So I go by country and A to Z again, click sort. And now it's sorted by department. And then after that, it sorts by country. So we have some multiple column sorts that we have available there. So this is sorting the range. And you can see that that garbage data still stays there because I selected my range instead of having to sort by the worksheet, which sorts everything. Now I mentioned before, we can also sort by color and it's not readily apparent. So let's say for example, I wanna have the accounting for all European countries. So I'm gonna select that, press control button. Uh, what else is a European country? We have Russia, we have Serbia, Sweden, Sweden, and let's make those all yellow. So these are highlighted in yellow, and I wanna sort these coming first. We go to data, and it's not it's not anywhere around here. We have sort sheet, it's not there. If I select my range of data, control A to select that, go to data, sort range. Well, let's try advanced range sort options. It's not there. How do you sort by color? Well, the first thing you need to do is turn on filtering. So I'll select my range, control A to select my range, and then go to data and then create a filter. And you'll now notice that these little marks indicate there's a filter here. Now these filtering options, 
they provide me the capability now to sort not only by the column here, but now I have this option to sort by color and fill color and click on yellow. Now it's going to start all the yellow ones first. So that's not readily apparent there. You have to turn on filtering first. So if you wanted to sort by color, you need to do that. So that's the basics of sorting in Google Sheets. Sorting is a simple yet effective way to get a better understanding of data. If you use Google Sheets, you'll find it quite handy and a good way to analyze information quickly and easily. To see more videos like this, click the banner at the end. Still here? Well, here's a joke. What's the best kind of nation? A doe nation.